So we're going to the Rick Ross Car Show all the way in Atlanta from Long Beach and spent 10 grand, haven't even got there yet. That doesn't include anything on the car, just getting the car there and accommodations and for the entry into the car show. Right now, we're in beautiful Long Beach shooting the car, which we're gonna take with my boy, Idris. He's got a channel called Refresh Era on Instagram. I'll link it below. It focuses on cars, hip hop, and how they merge together new and old which is the perfect brand refresh era to shoot this car and also rick ross car show is the perfect venue to bring this car out which is why i'm traveling so far f to it so what car are we doing what are we bringing out Stu? where the fuck you been i've been working on this that lincoln on alpinas we rebuilt a legend the one and only nipsey hustle had this car or car just like this one when he was 18 sitting on a link and I started thinking how am I pull a hundred million out these streets decided on the back of that thing I'm gonna sell this match friends with his brother black Sam and together they use that money to fund their first studio the rest is history Nipsey's legendary rap career unfortunately cut so short but this car there's only one picture of it on the whole entire internet hearing the story on the Rap Radar podcast with Nipsey, which was such an awesome interview. I'll link it below as well. You should listen to it, it's very inspiring. I used to have a Lincoln. When I was 19, I had a white Lincoln on our penis. You know what I'm saying? And um, then was like name brand rims. Was it the Cutlass joint? No, 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 I was after the Cutlass. Okay. So, um, you know, that was like um, a famous LA car. You know, that white Lincoln on our penis. I was, mm. you know, through LA and you knew that car. <laughs> Niggas ain't have our penis like that. That was like the, BMW rims with the lock and key on them. Mm -hmm. You couldn't even get to the loves without unlocking it. It was just some like teenage baller shit. And everybody used to try to buy that car from me. And I was getting girls, I was turned up. <laughs> so I'm like, I ain't selling this car. This is my luck right now. I'm winning in this car. That mobile. Right. Yeah. And uh, you know, I had, I had just reached a level in my grind where I'm like, I was sitting in that parking lot leaning on my Lincoln. And I'm, line, I'm nah. make it home. I was sitting on my Lincoln, I start thinking. Mm -hmm. Nigga ain't gon' make a hundred mil off any tracing. More than likely, I'm gon' end up in somebody bracing. Even worse, worse than cares front the church, laid off in the hearse, I dealt with it. I ain't just out here for my health with it. I wait the risk of the reward and sink the scale tipping. Let's all get on one accord and take the world, niggas. Take the money, take the power, and the girls with us. Can't buy that bullshit that they sell, niggas. They bring the drug heads to jail, niggas. Look all these ways they derail, niggas. That's why I respect me to the utmost when you see me, that's how I feel, nigga. Cause I ain't fail, niggas. I seen it coming, did not tell, niggas. Different lanes, same passion for the male, niggas. Switch lanes, all black, two glass sellers. V12, too fast, nigga. Gone. Listen to my ambition. Hear Nipsey talk himself about this car and how much he loved it. What do you call it? That teenage baller shit. <laughs> feeling like a million bucks at 18 driving around your dream car but realizing those dreams are kind of short-sighted and for him the bigger picture was music so he needed to give up his teenage dream to move on to his adult dream so that's what this car meant to him so I was like man and there's only one picture of it on the whole fucking internet I know that car I know those wheels <clears throat> I'm rebuilding it so I was about a year ago Nipsey's a huge inspiration to me and uh, I'm gonna recreate the car uh, all it took was finding a mid 50,000 mile Lincoln out of Kentucky and they still sell these new, these wheels new. I bought these wheels new from Alpina, got them filled and re-drilled and chromed. And now today, right now, we're gonna mount these puppies up. And I'm super pumped. Just listening to Nipsey's music gets me hype every day. Um, that, that hustle and motivate music, that marathon music, you know, gets you in that mindset that it's not going to happen overnight just to keep on plugging away. And through my businesses, you know, that has <laughs> certainly have been helpful. I've been trying to start OG Social now. I've been going at it for several years and, you know, just got to keep plugging away, keep working on it. And eventually, you know, that dream will come through. So this is for you, Nipsey. I love your music. I listen to you every day. I still appreciate you. We love you out here. Rest in peace, man. Let's put these damn wheels on and then really see what it's like to bump some Nipsey in the Nipsey Lincoln. Boom! Let's take a look at these damn wheels. Brand new. Ooh! <laughs> this is the sun. Oh man, I can't wait to see these on. So these are actually 21 by nine square setup. Nipsey had 20 by nine, 20 by 10 staggered. 
and actually had a different cap. He had the Alpina soft lens with a flat cap with the exposed keyhole. This is the next generation newer that has the hidden key. And they're gonna look amazing. So let's talk about this car. This is a 1998 Lincoln Mark 8 with the Mustang Cobra V8, 300 horsepower. Factory air suspension, sitting on 16 inch wheels. They're clean, but they're not no 21 inch Alpinas. <laughs> exhaust this example only has 50,000 miles I found it in Kentucky had it shipped over pearl white gray leather interior exact same spec that Nipsey had Woo! this thing's super clean haven't detailed it yet this is just a car wash since I got it I've been waiting for you guys to mount up these wheels. Just got these wheels back. It took a while to get them re-drilled and chromed. Tires mounted. Pirellis. Had to do the Pirellis. As Nipsey said in one of his verses, <laughs> had to put Pirellis on stocks because I was going through tires. Now these aren't stock wheels, but we're still gonna do you on the Pirellis. I know you like the Pirellis. We're giving you Pirellis. All right, let's go. This car has factory air suspension, so before you jack it up, you have to disable the air suspension in the trunk. So we're gonna do that now. Pop the trunk. Look at this keychain I got. Ooh wee! So sick. I'm so stoked on that. Open this little door. Get that to off. And then when we lift the car, the air suspension won't try and level itself. All right, so we got the rear wheel chalk, e-brake up. I'm going to uh, take a little weight off the front tires and uh, crack the lug nuts. Let's put one on. Ooh, here we go. So, uh. All right, so first off we got hub rings to match the center bore. We got uh, different cone seat bolts to match the new re-drilled Alpinas. These things are crazy. It has a hollow spoke, the valve stem underneath the center cap. So it keeps that 100% clean edge. So that means the air is actually traveling through this spoke in order to fill the tire with air. All right, let's put them on. Ooh, also got spacers. So I got three and five mil spacers because the back pad on these wheels is like non-existent you can see it um so we need a little extra clearance so i'm going to try the threes first and, uh, try the fives let's do that i think the fives look nicer i have test fit the wheels but not with the tires yet so i did know that we needed uh, some spacers in order to clear the brakes well we clear with fives Yeah, I think the three millimeters is too small. I think five is where it's at. Now the suspension can be adjusted with the end links, the leveling links. But you can see how she sits in the stock. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, let's put the caps on. Let me tell you something about the caps. These caps fit loose. So what they tell you to do is put little uh, 3M or actually Alpina cells. It's an actual Alpina part number that sells these little foam strips. But I just about to throw these things on. All is dumb niggas cause our culture is contagious. Third generation South Central game bangers. I live long enough to see it change. Think it's time we make arrangements. Finally get the light they made. Find me out in different places. Shit. Smoke my door to still go trace. 
so clean. I'm back dressed in blue lace. <laughs> so clean. Gates revolutionary suspension automatically lowers the car at highway speeds for better handling and less wind resistance, which raises the bar for everyone else. Which is great, except right now we got these massive 21s on it, and as soon as the car lowers down, it starts rubbing pretty horribly in the rear. Um, so I'm on the way to LA hoping for traffic. All right, so we're almost there. Trying to get some good footage of uh, Tony doing his art while not shoving the camera in his face. <laughs> Next stop. Keep right. 65 miles an hour. <laughs> 19 touching two birds. Alpine is off a few swerves. Gray leather in my white Lincoln. Shit smelling like a new purse. Two C's on my bitch shit. My money rising like bitch quick. Six words help you get this. Rich rapper on some crib shit. I pray for blessings as a young nigga. Not to learn the hard lessons of a drug dealer. Triple life with a gang enhancement. The judge triple white and he hates your blackness. He slammed the gavel with a racist passion. Got you waiting on the pills, but your patience passing. And all you got to offer is a fight. It's too late to run to Christ once you caught up in this life, love. So now we're back in my house. We had a great time shooting in Long Beach. Had some awesome locations. Got some sweet shots. So the car is pretty much ready to go at this point. The only, the only thing we got to do is a complete cut, polish, and I'd like to ceramic coat it before the truck comes to pick it up in four days and Mother's Day is in between there. So, um, <laughs> so we're gonna get started right now on that. We're gonna do a wash, then a clay bar, and then tape it off tonight then tomorrow we can i'll start bright and early the full cut and polish i do have a paint tester so i'm going to go around make sure i believe all it's all factory paint but we're going to double check before we start polishing do a test panel and then see where we're at it uh the paint's in great condition it's a pearl i'm so excited to see it cut and polished i wish i would have done this earlier but i was lagging and uh <laughs> waiting to the last minute cc's chilling it is filthy but uh here she is with the S4 seats. Woo. Got my track wheels on with the R888 tires, the loudest and most annoying tires ever. This happened the other day. Ouch. So, 160,000 miles on this girl. Woo. Here she is, pre polish. <laughs> I'm the type that's gon' go get it, no kidding. Breaking down a switch in front of your building. Sitting on the steps, feeling no feelings. 
Last night it was a cold killer. You gotta keep the devil in his hole, nigga. But you know how it go, nigga. I'm front line every time it's on, nigga. Hundred pro flow, run and shoot pro. 458 drop, playing bulletproof soul. Every few shows, I just buy some new gold. Circle got smaller, everybody can't go. Downtown Diamond District, jewelers like yo. Hustle, holla at me, I got Cubans on the low. Through with Cancun, smoking Cubans on the boat. All right, so it's the next morning. I didn't get to taping last night, so started that now. And I realized that this car has very few straight lines. Most of them are very curvy and swoopy, which makes taping more difficult. So I have decided I'm not gonna go too crazy with the masking. I did get the paint meter out and I've gone around and we got about five to six millimeters of paint all around the car. Paint is shining up really nice. We're done with the back half of the car, which took a long time because the bumper had a lot of scratches on it, but it is looking really, really nice right now. Got most of all the scratches. There's quite a bit on each corner. And it's looking nice. The chrome trim and the lights shined up really good too. Basically look new. Gonna go a little bit more on those, but I need to use a stepper pad. This is what it does to the pad when you hit the metal. Works great, but it kills your pad. So I'm gonna save that for the end. Got a new pad. Let's go, let's keep going. Just gonna keep working our way around the car and then next step is polishing. Let's go. So we've moved on from cutting and now we are onto the polishing phase. So we're gonna be using the yellow five inch rupees pad and then this Sonax. And I just did half the hood and this is what we get after. Whoo, jewels it way up. This is the before. And uh, in this lighting, <laughs> I can see some swirl marks that I missed, but it looks really good. <laughs> The polishing stage definitely brings out this pearlescent paint. It looks amazing in the sun. All right, so polish and detail update. This is done and it is looking so tasty damn the pearl really pops after you put the polish on there and it is looking so slick and nice she's called shell of the sun helping me polish guard dog oh man it's a rough job this job is rough hey yo Stu, what do you listen to while you polish the car in the, in the airpods what do you listen to what you think? What you think? Oh, you can see the reflection of the Alpinas. Oh, the Nipsey album. Oh, you should hear this whole album in the Lincoln. Oh, oh, oh. My boy Woody came over last night. That's why I didn't get more done. Uh, he hadn't seen the car or heard the system yet. We, we bumped out. Woo! Pop the trunks on them. Ooh! <laughs> there we go. Two 12s. 1200 watt amps for the subs and a 300 watt amp for the rest of the speakers. Look at this interior. Shit smelling like a new purse. Went with the Kenwood and the old school equalizer because that's what I had when I was 18. I love playing with all the levels, sub level adjust, different frequencies. Love that shit. Oh, we got an extra bass knob in here. Oof. Peel some tape. Nice, nice. These wheels look insane. Wide angle lens, dude. <laughs> They're not. 
Think that was a GoPro? I just dropped the fuck out of that. <laughs> We're using the GoPreezy right now. And it's shipping day. The car is leaving in about 15 minutes. I'm gonna pull the car out for the first time into the sun. I didn't end up ceramic coating it, so I didn't end up washing it. I just uh, used spray wax and detailed her up, cleaned off all the polishing dutch, but dust, which there wasn't that much because I was changing pads pretty frequently. But it looks freaking insane. The car has never been cleaner. The wheels are glowing. I got the victory lap hat in the back. Ooh, crispy. We're ready to go. Loaded up with the car show backdrop and display. Interior looking fresh. Got a towel down for the driver. Ooh. Without further ado, let's pull this thing out into the freaking sun. I can't wait to see it. You just sit right here. I'll pull this thing the hell out. That's why I call my thing the marathon because yeah. I, I'm not gonna lie and, and, and portray um, this ultimate poise, like I've been, had it figured out. Nah, I just didn't quit. That's the only distinguishing quality from me and probably whoever else going through this or went through this or is gonna go through this is that I ain't quit. I went through every emotion. I went through every emotion with trying to pursue what I'm doing. You know what I mean? And I think that what what's gonna separate whoever's gonna try to go for something is that you ain't gonna quit. And that's, you know, you're gonna really take the stance if I'm gonna die behind what I'm, what I'm getting at right now. Getting at right now. It's taken a while to complete, but I'm super stoked. It's surreal that it's actually done. Sitting here, gleaming, clean, ready to go. About to get shipped to Atlanta to be in the Rick Ross car show. VIP spot, mind you. Oh, it's gonna be so dope. So, next stop, Atlanta. Yeah, it's your life, you can play with it. You make your bed, you gonna lay in it. Do your thing, just be safe with it. Triple bunks in the state prison. Blue laces in my blue chucks. I ain't never gave two bucks. BT, I jumped the hood up. Asking if that nigga nip hood, what? Like I wouldn't take it to the back with you. Same nigga walk the track with you. Same nigga shot a